AFC South has been ran by the Colts uh, for a, a, a number of years in a row. Uh, coming out, they've always had Peyton Manning, and the Texans have always been that team, or the Titans have been that team to try to challenge them. This year may be a little different. Uh, starting off with the Colts, I've been told that Peyton Manning won't play for the rest of the season. Uh, can Kerry Collins lead this team to the playoffs? Can he take this team to the playoffs? You remember Kerry Collins took this... Uh, Took the Tennessee Titans team a couple years ago to a 13 and 3 record. I know he had Chris Johnson, but Kerry Collins really helped to manage that team to a to a to a 13 and uh, 3 record and let him into the playoffs. They have to find some type of running game since Peyton Manning's not going to play. Uh, it's either Joseph Joseph Adai, Dino Brown. Joseph Adai had 495 yards, 6.61.9 yards uh, per game, four touchdowns, or Dino Brown. The first round pick that they got a couple years ago out of UConn, uh, 497 yards and 38 38 yards per per game and two touchdowns. That's not really going to help out a lot, especially with Kerry Collins. You don't want him throwing the football that much like you had Peyton do. They got to find a muster up a run, a, some type of running game. Can these can these receivers are these receivers really good as they're advertised, or is just Peyton Manning and making them that good? Um, I I think they're really good. Uh, you got red guys like Reggie Wayne should help out a lot. Pierre Garçon should stretch the field. Anthony Gonzalez should really help in the slot. Can Austin Colley stay healthy? He's had so many concussions in his career. Can he stay healthy enough to help out? Dallas Clark should help out a lot too. Uh, how is this, can his offensive line keep uh, keep Kerry Collins upright? You have a, you have Anthony Costanzo, first round pick out of Boston College. Uh, he's protecting his blind side. You have Ryan Deem at the other tackle position. You have Jeff Saturday, one of the best centers in all of football. Hopefully they can keep him upright a lot, so he doesn't have to take a lot of hits. But that's going to be a lot. This is going to be key for that for that team, especially in their run blocking. They got to run. They got to run block a little bit better, as well as pass block for Kerry Collins. Uh, they're very deep at the defensive end position. Uh, you got Freeney and Mathis, your, your two starters. But they they added Jamal Anderson, former first round pick. Out of a uh, former first round pick from Arkansas, he was drafted by Atlanta. They he was one of those cases where he was a down lineman for it, and they tried to stand him and make an outside linebacker in the 34 system. It didn't help. Now he's now he's back to where he's more comfortable as as a D end rushing with his hand in the ground. How's that going to help? They they signed Taylor Brayton and Jerry Hughes. I don't know why uh, uh, Colts did it, but they made him into a linebacker when he was a when he was the same thing as Jamal Anderson. Even though the Colts ran a 43, they tried to make they tried to make uh, Jerry Hughes a linebacker. They said it saw it wasn't going to work out, so they made him an end again. So that should really help out a lot. Defensive tackle, watch out for Drake Nevis. Drake Nevis is a rookie out of LSU. Uh, I think he he can really help in their in their uh, run run game because they got torched a lot of times by teams this year. They were really struggled. Their defensive line really struggled of of penetrating and getting a push on the defensive line so they could stop the run. As soon as you saw it, the first game of the season when Arian Foster ran crazy all over them. Uh, they're fine at linebacker. Gary Brackett's back there. They're really fine. He's the quarterback of that of that defense. Uh, they need to improve the secondary depth. That you got Jacob Lacey starting at corner. Gerard Powers both at the corner positions. Anthony Bethea and Melvin and Melvin Bullet. Those are young guys. They're not they're not great guys, but they're good. They're solid. The guys you want there, but you need to find depth behind them. Uh, like just for instance, but they was really the depth guy that when Bob Sanders went down and he start up You got to build that depth for the Colts uh, Moving on to the Texans Is Matt can Matt Schaub is is he the answer for this team? Is he the quarterback for the team leading forward going on to it? Uh, I think this is his last year to prove something along with Gary Kubiak Yeah, I think if they don't make the playoffs, they're both gone or they got to find a way to get rid of both of them bring some fresh new uh, fresh new faces in can Arian Foster stay healthy uh, he showed a picture of his hamstring hurt. Uh, he, durability was always an issue for him. Uh, if he could stay healthy, can he have that same impact that he had? But watch out for Ben Tate. Ben Tate was a second-round pick out of Auburn uh, a year back. He should be healthy. He should be healthy. He, he's a really a guy that's really good for that zone running scheme. So just in case Arian Force is not ready to go or, or not the Arian Force we saw last year, Ben Tate is a guy who you should really watch out for. Uh, Everybody knows Andre Johnson, the best wide receiver in the league. Uh, can Kevin Walters and, and Jacoby Jones can they be more consistent and help out a lot? Jacoby Jones in that inside or the out or or stretching the field, he has to be more consistent with his hands. 
and, and Kevin Walters, maybe he's not the most talented guy out there, but he just has to step up and make plays. Owen Daniels right now is their second, is it is Schaub's second option. He's a tight end. He's a very good tight end, very good hands. Uh, can create mismatch problems. Also, watch out this year for, for fullback uh, James Casey. He'll be more of an H-back role. You'll see him a lot of motion in, it, in and out of the backfield. He should create mismatch problems as well. Moving on to the defense. I think the Texans on the defensive side had the best offseason off of all of everybody. Uh, getting Wade Phillips. They're going to be running at 34, 34, uh, 34 concept. But they'll have the concepts where Mario Williams is, no, is not going to be all standing up all the time. They First round pick they got J.J. Watt. I like him a lot he, uh, at that end position, that five technique. He's very good at uh, he can. He's going to be a guy because of Mario Williams. He's going to be a guy that's going to benefit off Mario Williams seeing a lot of double teams. And J.J. Watt might actually be your defensive rookie of the year this year. He might be. He might have double digit sacks along with along with Mario Williams. They need to. They need to upgrade. I think at that. They need to find a true nose tackle. They, they don't. That's the one key part of a 34 defense. You got to have that nose tackle. They don't have it yet. Uh, how does Williams handle that? Uh, being able to, to fight off run blocks uh, while standing up where he, can, where he can create leverage. I think Brooks Reed, second round pick out of Arizona, another great pick for them, should help out a lot, especially when it comes to uh, that weak side where he's blitzing. Uh, I would say weak side, he's playing strong side linebacker, but he's going to be blitzing a lot, uh, creating uh, pass rushing situations and uh, some pass rushing situations that really should help out getting after the quarterback. They really, really upgraded I think at that at the the secondary position tremendously get third round they got uh, the third round pick or second round pick and Brandon Harris out of Miami he should help out in the slot uh, as a nickelback or if Kareem Jackson really is not helping out he uh, he'll move out into uh, this cornerback position Jonathan Joseph one of the best young corners in the league should help out uh, or automatically he should be a automatic starter getting Daniel Manning at the free safety position this team got torched. In the, in the secondary last year by a couple teams where they should have won some games and they gave up late leads because of a poor secondary. They have some issues with, I, I don't really, I like Quinn, Quinn Grover, but Glover, but I don't think he's the answer at strong safety. I think they need to improve the strong safety position. But all in all, I think that them having, uh, them mixed with JJ, uh, drafting JJ Watt, Brooks Reed, Brandon Harris, getting Wade Phillips. I think they had one of the best off season on, on especially on the defensive side of the ball out of all the teams. In the league, and I think this is the year that they probably push for it for for a playoff spot and win this division. Moving on to the Jaguars, they just cut David Garrard today. Uh, Luke McCown is now the starter. Uh, how long is Luke McCown the starter for? They got Blaine Gabbard out of the University of uh, Mich uh, Missouri, first round pick. They feel like he's the quarterback of the future. Uh, how does J uh, Maurice Jones do? One of the best running backs in the league. How does he respond off of that major knee surgery that he had this offseason? They're going to need him a lot this year because they don't have a lot of outside weapons. They have Mercedes Lewis, but all, all in all, uh, you got guys like um, you got guys like Mike Thomas and Jason Hill. You, you don't have that those big play guys or guys that really scare you on the outside. They have Mercedes Lewis, who had who led the team, had 58 receptions, 700 yards, 10 touchdowns. He really broke out this year. Zach Miller should help out too at the, at the tight end position. So, but they really need to find outside. They need to find wide receiver uh, playmakers on the outside. Can this offensive line protect the quarterback? They're very young. Uh, I don't think they're. They need this, this to become a strength, especially if you're going to have Luke McCown or Blaine Gabbert as your quarterback. You don't want your quarterback getting hit a lot. And also, can they create running lanes for Maurice Jones-Drew? Moving on to this defense. Uh, this defense really didn't get a pass rush last year. I think that's all going to change. Uh, they, they got Aaron Campen and Jeremy Mensch on the outside. I think Tyson Aluwalo on the inside should really help out as well. As well, they improved that linebacker with getting guys like Clint Sessions and Paul Plasnuski from from Buffalo and, and and Sessions from the Colts. They really improved improved on on the linebacker as well as well as that secondary. Is that secondary really improved? Uh, Rashid Mathis. Uh, is he going to help out a lot? You got guys like uh, they was in the Eric Weddle sign. They didn't get Weddle. And they just can that defense really improve? That secondary mainly can that secondary really improve? But I think this team uh, is really going to have a lot of bumps in the road. They might be one of the worst teams in the league. 
depending on how Jamers Jones Drew can carry this team or not. Moving on to the Titans, they're one of the most intriguing teams. Uh, can Matt can Matt Hasselback can he manage this team to the playoffs? And if not, do you just bring in Jake Locker, the first round pick you got from uh, University of Washington? Do you just you just take your bumps in the road if the season doesn't start off the way you want it to? And do you just and you just uh, just throw Locker into the fire? Also, they have one of the probably one thing that will really help Hasselback or Locker is Chris Johnson, one of the best one of the best running backs in the league. I think he's second behind Adrian Peterson. But this, how does holdout affect him? He hasn't played. He hasn't been in camp. Uh, when you haven't been in camp, and are, is he in football shape? Will he pop a hamstring? Or will he tweak a knee or an ankle? How long will it take him to recover? Also, they have, will Kenny Britt have a breakout year? Kenny Britt's have had problems off the field. He might be suspended, or I don't know if he is suspended or not yet for the season. But Kenny Britt's looking to have a breakout year. Also, they're hoping that the young wide receivers that they drafted, like Damian Williams out of USC, uh, Lavelle Hawkins out of Cal, those guys could step up and, and really help this offense along with Nate Washington. Also look out for Jared Cook to make an impact as well. He could, he's a tight end, a big guy, uh, can really can really create mismatches with his speed that he has as well. They really have a solid offensive line. I'm not worried about their, solid, their offensive line. They're strong and, and deep at the, uh, the defensive tackle position. Uh, I think uh, Cindric Marks should really help out. Jarrell Casey's at a USC should really help those guys just build build that uh just build that depth and be able to stop the run. They they'll be able to stop the run with one of, one of the best teams in the league at doing that, especially up the middle defensive tackle position. Uh, where can they find a pass rush at? Uh, how, Derek Morgan still hasn't recovered from that knee injury that that ended his uh, season early last year. The rookie they need him for especially when it comes to pass rush situations. At linebacker, they're really solid at linebacker. I like it, I like it a lot. Of, I like them a lot at linebacker, especially Akeem Ayers, the second round pick they got out of uh, UCLA. Uh, he should help out, especially at, at, at when they come to rushdowns or or passing situation. He could put. He's a guy who is very versatile. He could put his hand in the ground. He could stand up. He could cut. He could definitely. He's more. He's so athletic. He can cover. Uh, he can cover on uh, passing routes. So he's a guy that I really like. It should, should make a meaty impact on this team. Who starts at the cornerback position? Is it Jason Mc, uh, McCartney? Is it uh, Alton Venters, who had 101 tackles last year? Or is it Cortland Finnegan? Uh, I've been seeing it a lot that I, I think Jason, I think Jason McCartney and Alton Venters should really should really be the starters. And Finnegan, who's more of a run stopper, he he, he would help a lot at, at the nickel situations. But we'll see what he has there. I think if Chris Johnson can stay healthy and, and Kenny Britt. Can have a great year, and and Matt Hasselback can do what he did in Seattle last year, and just manage this team because you don't know what the culture gonna have with Peyton Manning not being there, and you never trust the Texans. Uh, I think the Titans can really push for it. I'm picking the Colts. I do not trust the Texans. I don't trust Matt Schaub at the quarterback. They've always had time. They always there's always been a year. Where, oh, they're gonna do it this year. They're gonna do it this year, and they never end up doing it. I think they they fall short of the playoffs this year, and I think the Colts find a way to do it with Kerry Collins. They, I think the Colts are really going to take this disrespect feeling that they're one of, they think people call them the worst teams in the league without Peyton Manning. I think the defense really steps up a lot, especially with those playmakers that they have on the outside. And I think somebody steps up in the running back position for them. But I, I'm taking the Colts, the only team out of the division to make the playoffs. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your comments down below. And subscribe to the top of the page to my videos. Uh, a lot more coming. I'm going to do the AFC next, NFC next. So thanks, guys.